Okay, so this is Al Bain, Al Bain for Leather, and what I'm gonna do is talk about a vertical access hook on the Cobra Class 20 sewing machine. This is a very typical hook configuration commonly found on console sewing machines. So basically, there's a little door. You access it by sliding this thing open. Okay, the, you can, as you can see, the bobbin is sitting right here. There's a little flip-up lever, and then the bobbin pops right out. Okay. What I want to talk about mostly is the anatomy of the bobbin case and how to load it so that you can con get consistent thread tension and stitching all the time. Okay. So because it's hard to see, I've drawn a little drawing, so please don't laugh about my drawing, but what we're going to do is we're going to talk about the section that's right in here. Let me rotate it so you can expose some of it. And these two screws and this leaf spring and this little slot right here. So I've got a little drawing. Okay, so here are the two screws. One, two, and that little slot. And illustrated with these little red stripes is the leaf spring itself. And then this gold line is to indicate the thread. Okay, so the first screw on the far operator's right is just a retention screw. All it's doing is holding the spring in place. The next one to the operator's left, that's the tension adjustment. So by tightening it down, it's gonna force the leaf spring down onto the side of the bobbin case and create more tension. And by turning it counterclockwise, relieving some of the tension, it's gonna loosen up the thread tension and then provide a change in the tension by itself right there. Okay, the bobbin case here itself is indicated in blue and what you see is that there's a groove in the side of the case and it goes underneath the leaf spring so you wouldn't be able to see this section under the leaf spring that's why i've drawn this drawing so the thread's got to come down through this groove and then pop out through a little hole traveling under the leaf spring and then out from underneath underneath the leaf spring so if you understand kind of how that's working out let me show it to you in the machine here, okay? So here's the groove, okay? And then underneath here is where that little hole would be and then the thread's gonna travel underneath this spring here. All right, Johnny, hold this for me right here. Okay, so I'm gonna load a bobbin for you. Okay, so what you want is the bobbin to be paying out in the counterclockwise direction, okay? So holding the thread in my fingers and then the, the rim of the bobbin itself, so I've got control of the thread, just drop it in over the lever. And then I'm going to use one finger from my left hand and hold tension on it and then slide the thread along the rim until it reaches a, the opening of that little groove right there. Can you see where the tip of the pencil is? Okay, so the thread is laying right there on top of it. And now I'm going to pull count in a clockwise direction and drop that thread into that groove. Okay, so now it's in the groove up against the leaf spring itself. I'm going to change hands and put pressure with my right hand and then pull continuing in a clockwise direction. And then what I want to do is I want to get it past this little protrusion, this little triangle shape, and I want to push it over there with my fingernail. And now that it's over there, I'm going to keep pulling in a clockwise direction and the thread is going to fall between the leaf spring and around. Now it's all coming out from this side. Okay, that's the key to loading that um, bobbin thread. So after that, close the little gate and then holding the needle thread, I'm going to cycle the machine a full revolution. Okay, see the, the needle thread is pulling the bobbin thread up and out through the feed dog. Okay, pull them all out, close the gate, and then feed them both through the, the, the inner presser foot and out back toward one o'clock. Anyway, it's critical to understand that that thread has to travel underneath the leaf spring and come out through the other side, uh, on, out of the tip of the leaf spring. When you look at the bobbin case from the opposite side, you're going to see a little recessed hole where the tip of the leaf spring is kind of setting down in there. So that thread has got to go out of, the, out of the case, under the spring, continuing under the spring, even though it's going through that recess and then back out toward, yeah, toward the nine o'clock position. 